As I am sitting here right now, I am dehydrating myself on a cellular level. How and why is that? I'm going to talk about it. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the Sarah Kleiner Wellness channel. And I love you so much that I'm willing to record a video to dehydrate my very own body. So make sure that you leave this video a like or a comment. All right. What the heck am I talking about? I am talking about cellular hydration, and it is not about the water that you are necessarily putting into your body. That plays a very, very small part. I'm going to talk about that a little bit, but what I really want to drive home and help people to understand in the framework of your overall health is that cellular hydration is about the body's ability to make and maintain cellular water. We're going to talk about the things that build this and the things that take this down. Again, we'll talk a little bit about water, what you drink and nutrition as well, but I really just want to make a very simple video for people who are confused on this topic because I know it can be a lot to understand. It took me a while to actually understand this. So I have some friends and colleagues that will give you a lot of science. They will give you all the citations and studies that you need and the literature. If you want to dive deeper into this, Dr. Sarah Pugh, busy superhuman who's staying at my house right now is one of them. And my good friend, Carrie Bennett, we have a podcast together called Quantum Conversations. We talk about this, but those two are people that I really look to when it comes to understanding this topic. Dr. Gerald Pollack, I am very inspired by his work. He's been on my podcast before. So those are some people that you can look to. And of course, Dr. Gilbert Ling, who really pioneered a lot of this work. Those are people you can look to if you want to look at this, see the science, see the studies to understand it on a deeper level. But again, I just want to keep it really simple. Also want to let you know, if you want to learn how to apply this in your daily life to help you reverse leptin resistance, my 21 day leptin program has three days on this topic where I explain it. My quantum nutrition course also has a full module on this. And my leptin master plan practitioner course has a full week where we dive into this and there's all the scientific citations and research. So I do have courses if you want to understand like why do hydration, cellular hydration and leptin resistance interplay? How does that work? Why do health problems and cellular hydration interplay? Right? How does that work? So I, I have these in my courses as well, if you're somebody who's wanting to dive deeper, but let's keep it very simple for the purpose of this video for, for the person who's watching. So I mentioned in the very beginning of this video that I'm dehydrating myself on a cellular level. So what the heck does that mean? The body is meant to hold on to water. Each of our cells are surrounded by water. We are 99% water molecule by volume. And the mitochondria, which is inside the cell where we make, you know, if you hear in, in, uh, in school, they told you mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. It makes energy for the body. If you look at Dr. Gilbert Ling's work, he's the one who essentially said the mitochondria's job was to make water and that that was the energy currency of the body. It's pretty interesting stuff. Um, and I've talked to some pretty interesting and smart biochemists, polymaths who say the same thing. And it's kind of being looked at on this deeper level in the scientific realm. So it's something to really think about that uh, our body's energy currency really is this water. It, it, it creates a battery for the body. And why does blue light and why does non-native EMF bring this water currency down because it blocks, uh, first of all, blue light, uh, unfiltered blue light blocks cytochrome four in the mitochondria. So cytochrome four, we have these five respiratory proteins in the mitochondria, which is inside the cell, how the body makes ATP energy, how the body makes water. We make water at step four, blue light blocks. Step four stops water production. That's one. Dr. Gerald Pollack has shown in his lab that exposure to Wi-Fi radiation brings down easy water by 15 to 20% in volume. So you keep your cell phone on your body. I'm in my office surrounded by a bunch of stuff, not favorable. I'm bringing my water down. I'm bringing my cellular water down. I'm bringing my body's energy capacity down. So the health of the cell, our body is electric. If you look at Obe Becker's work and the body electric, that book, our body is electric and it depends on having a negative charge to be healthy. 
When the body has too much positive charge, uh, we have reactive oxygen species, we have inflammation, and we eventually have cell death. Uh, and so the ability of the, the cell to have a negative charge depends on this exclusion zone water. Now, what we eat and what we drink do have an impact, absolutely, but it's it's small. Uh, it also depends on your mental state. Look at the work of Veda Austin and Dr. Masaru Emoto and how water actually holds memory and responds to words, thoughts, and intentions. And we have that very same system within our cells. So if you are constantly around negative people or you are constantly negative, what do you think is happening to the water in your body? That's something that people it's woo woo, right? Oh, you're a negative person. You're always talking crap. You know, you have that friend that's just always got a negative tape to play about anything. You know, we all know that one person. I've been that person before in my life. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I do my best to not be that person because I understand how this works in the body. Again, if you look at the work of Veda Austin, you can see how water again can hold memory and, and hold beautiful shape and integrity and structure in response to thoughts, emotions, and intentions. And this same system works within your body. So when I look at someone's cellular hydration, I'm going to look at how much blue light, unfiltered blue light they're exposed to versus sunlight because infrared from the sun actually expands this exclusion zone water up to fourfold. So how much sunlight are you exposing yourself to? Our modern LEDs have no infrared zero. We used to actually have infrared bulbs that, you know, were called incandescents and they actually have some infrared. And it was actually an incandescent bulb that Pollock used in his lab to show this fourfold expansion of the EZ. And remember, just to review, every cell in your body is surrounded by exclusion zone water and the red blood cells as well, uh, including cells, right? And your mitochondria, inner mem membrane and outer membrane exclusions on water, each of those five respiratory proteins, exclusions on water surrounds them, and it needs to have a negative charge in order for those electrons to tunnel across that electron transport chain for your body to make ATP at step five and water at step four. So if you've got a lot of this interference of negative thoughts, negative emotions, that's going to change the structure of this exclusion zone water. If you are surrounded by a lot of non-native EMF and Wi-Fi, this is going to bring down your exclusion zone water up to 15 to 20%. But you can build this back up through what I'm going to do when I get off of this recording. I'm going to go stand outside in full spectrum sunlight. Infrared expands the easy water up to fourfold. UV excites the electrons and creates uh, expansion of the EZ. Grounding pulls electrons into the body and can help to support EZ water. Cold therapy, cold thermogenesis can actually create more EZ. Making melatonin when you're sleeping. We got subcellular melatonin we make in response to infrared during the day. And then we also make pineal melatonin at night in response to darkness, but we have to be exposed to darkness. This is why, again, blue light at night can also be very toxic to your exclusions on water and cause you to be dehydrated on a cellular level. So these are the environmental things that we can do. Positive thoughts, positive intentions, humming, singing, right? All those things can help to build your exclusions on water, which can and help to positively impact your health. So now all the woo-woo people that talk about being positive and having positive intentions, um, they don't sound so silly, do they? Praying, worship, all of these things are very positive on your health because they help to structure the water in your body. And that's just what we know. I, I love looking at health from the lens of we know just about this much and we know just about this much about water, right? So always explore and have a sense of wonder when you're looking at health in this, in this framework. Now, food has uh, ways of impacting our cellular water as well from the lens of deuterium. Deuterium is neither good nor bad, but when we have too much of it and it accumulates in the mitochondria, this is going to jam up that ATPase and we are not going to make as much water or ATP. So when you're eating highly processed foods and seed oils, everyone talks how 
about how bad seed oils are. Seed oils are some of the highest foods in deuterium. I have a study from Dr. Laszlo Boros. I'll put that in the show notes that he actually personally emailed me over the weekend. I reached out to him and said, hey, can you send me some information on why seed oils are so bad in the framework of deuterium? They have between 160, some of them up to 250 parts per million of deuterium. A healthy body, we've been shown in, again, Dr. Laszlo Boros's work, as well as Dr. Smalia's work, that a healthy body is around 130 parts per million as far as deuterium goes. So if you want to be at 130 parts per million, you're consuming foods all the time that are 160 to 250 parts per million. That's a problem, right? So what you eat absolutely does impact your body's ability to have exclusions on water. Because if you're jamming up that ATPase with deuterium and you're not depleting it by getting strong UV light, infrared, red, sweating, sauna, movement, cold, all of that, you get a problem. You have a problem, right? When the cell loses the ability to have a negative charge and to have adequate exclusions on water because exclusion zone, it excludes toxins, pathogens, and parasites, all these things, and it has healthy voltage of the cell, you start to have disease states manifesting in the body, right? A little bit of an oversimplification of health, but it helps to kind of take this zoom out view when it comes to why our cellular water is important. And it's not necessarily about what we drink. Now, yes, what we drink can be helpful. We want to drink filtered water with minerals added back in. You can structure it again with intention. You can use something like a analemma wand. Hydrogen is like adding a bunch of little suns into your water, uh, but your body has the ability to make hydrogen on its own through the process of melanin, which is UV light hitting the skin. So hydrogen's awesome. I talk about it a lot on this channel, but I don't want anyone to think that they can't get better and they can't heal without a hydrogen machine because you can. I think you absolutely can. And I've seen it time and time again. So I hope this has been helpful. Again, oversimplification. If you want to get really technical, you can take some of my more advanced courses, my leptin master plan practitioner course. We have a whole week on this as well as a whole week on deuterium, all the things, right? Or some of the work of my colleagues, Dr. Sarah Pugh and Carrie Bennett as well as the work of Dr. Gerald Pollack, Dr. Gilbert Ling, Veda Austin, Dr. Masaru Emoto. There's been some amazing, amazing scientists that have worked very hard in this field and have shown some amazing things. Mei Wan Ho, another one to, to look up if you want to learn this stuff on a deeper level. So I hope this has been helpful. If it has, make sure you leave me a like, leave me a comment, especially since I just dehydrated myself by making this video for you. I will talk to you in the next one.